The year was 1859, and the great Comstock silver load was discovered in the northern region of the Nevada Territory. The amount of silver was so great that it became difficult to transport it to the closest mint, which was in San Francisco. The location was determined, I think, for several reasons. One, that the local people here, not only in Carson City, but up in Virginia City and other mining communities around here, they wanted a mint in northern Nevada, this area here. And the closest mint was San Francisco, and they felt like that was too far to ship their bullion to. They wanted something closer. The U.S. government determined it needed a coining facility closer to the silver mines. So on March 3rd of 1863, Congress passed legislation to establish a new mint, the sixth mint in the Nevada Territory, 18 months before Nevada would become a state. So Carson City made a, a strong effort. Abe Curry, the founder of Carson and associated with the Mint, and others lobbied and, and got Congress to look and consider Carson City for a site for a Mint. And indeed, in 1863, during the Nevada Territorial Period, they determined that they were going to build a Mint here. The government bought a small tract of land in 1865. But because the U.S. was in the middle of the Civil War, Construction on the new mint did not begin until the summer of 1866. Many problems plagued the construction for over three years, and they went over budget by nearly 200%. Finally, after spending over $426,000, the mint was ready in fall of 1869. The mint opened months later in January of 1870, even though none of the coin dies had yet been delivered from Philadelphia. Well, the Mint began operations in uh, 1870, and February is actually when the first coins were minted. And on that first historic day, the Carson City Mint pressed its first coin, a seated Liberty Dollar. It was the first of 56 million coins to bear the distinctive CC Mint mark. The Mint opened with just one steam-powered coin press, aptly named Coin Press No. 1. The press could produce up to 100 coins per minute, but due to the high demand of coins from the public, a second coin press arrived in 1875 and a third in 1876. Together, the three coin presses were able to mint about 40,000 coins per day. The main purpose of the Carson City Mint was to, to mint coinage, producing business strikes that would be released to the general public and the economy of the local areas here in Nevada, but also in other areas in California and such. And it seemed like a natural that the mint would be developed here with the tremendous mining that was developed. And Nevada has the nickname the Silver State with the Comstock load so close and other mining districts throughout the state providing bullion for this uh, mint to turn and make into coinage, both gold and silver. When this building was a mint, it had up to 80 to 90 workers. Uh, it brought in like $10,000 a month to a, the frontier community like this, our capital too of the state of Nevada. The types of coins that were minted here, and I think sometimes people don't realize that there were both gold and silver. As far as the gold ones, there was the $5 gold piece, the $10 gold piece, and the $20 gold piece. And then when we think of silver, we think of the Morgan dollars that were minted here at the Carson City Mint, but there was more than just the dollars. There was dimes, quarters, a 20 cent piece, which was an interesting coin that was only minted for two years because it was mistaken for a quarter and they decided to end that attempt to use that coinage. And uh, the 50 cent piece, as well as trade dollars, and another type of coin that a lot of people wouldn't know of that, were, that was produced but it was the Morgan dollar that soon became the favorite among collectors, and those produced at this fabled mint have become some of the most highly coveted. The CC mint mark reminds us of the Old West, the low mintages and the mystique that have made the Carson City Morgans popular for the last 130 years. The mint went on hiatus in 1885 for a period of uh, four years as a new administration came in. Grover Cleveland, he was a Democrat and he was anti-silver. 
And at that point, he and others were considering closing this mint. It was closed and for production, at least in 1886, 1887, and 1888, there was no coins minted. And I think another factor was the Comstock, the great mining district that had provided much of the silver and gold that came here to be produced, was already in decline at that time. And was, uh, you know, a matter of a few more years in the 1890s was really a depression in this area. So, interesting enough, Cleveland only served one term and then uh, a Republican one who was supportive of silver, Benjamin Harrison, and the Mint opened again and started producing. But the Mint only operated for an additional four years. This was due to the lack of production from the Nevada mines, spiraling silver prices, the stock market panic of 1893, and the re-election of Grover Cleveland. In 1893, Carson City lost its formal mint status and minting operations were discontinued by acting mint director Robert Preston. For years afterward, the building still served as an assay office where they tested the purity of precious metals. Finally, in 1941, the building was remodeled and for over 75 years has been the Nevada State Museum. Many of the remnants of the old mint still reside here, including coin press number one. So it has a great history. It wasn't in existence very long, only 24 years of production, but it's produced some of the great coins uh, in, in American numismatic history. During the first year of operation, 1870, the Carson City Mint produced six different coins the seated Liberty Dollar, Liberty Half Dollar, and Quarter, as well as the Gold Half Eagle, Eagle, and Double Eagle. In 1871, they released the seated Liberty Dime. Then in 1873, the Trade Dollar. In 1875, the 20 cent piece. And finally, in 1878, the Morgan Dollar was introduced. Between 1870 and 1893, the Carson City Mint released over 56 million coins with a face value of nearly $50 million. Altogether, there were 50 issues of silver coins and 57 gold coins. <laughs>